Hey everyone! Welcome back to some more Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Redemption! Where apparently we have a party synchronized breathing going on. In the last episode, a whole heck of a lot happened all of a sudden. We had fought our way through the remainder of the defenders in the Giovanni warehouse to figure out who's taking the specialized dirt from Prague. We know it's a Zemitsky. And where they bring it to. We weren't able to figure that out after meeting the head Giovanni of the warehouse. But he told us that we could track who was doing so, potentially, by just waiting for them to pick it up. They just drop the stuff off at the dock, and the Zemiski, or whoever wanted it, will come and actually pick it up and leave their payment there. We thanked him for it, and we're going to leave and let him live. But then Pink took it upon himself to kill the Giovanni. We questioned Pink, only to have Willem show up. Willem informed us that Pink was an Asimite, working for Vudalak, no less, as a mercenary. Pink informed us that Willem is a member of Zabat, and we shouldn't trust him either. After some dialogue slash discussion, Pink vanished and revealed that he was indeed playing the part prescribed to him, or that he decided to use to delay Kristoff. Interesting. This would mean that Vudalak knew Kristoff was present again in this world in order to have him do so. Maybe it was just a coincidence that Pink was at that bar when Kristoff stopped into it as well. But I don't know if I agree with that. I suspect that Ineska woke us up and that Vudalak needs us for something because Ineska is probably still working for him, is my guess. Anyway, we were thrilled to see Wilhelm. Despite the fact that Pink got away, we didn't care very much. Wilhelm confessed to being a member of the Sabbat and doesn't regret his decisions. This actually is a, throws a bit of a, a wrench into this game being called Vampire the Masquerade Redemption because there is the, the Sabbat don't use a masquerade. There hasn't been a whole lot of masquerading actually happening here. <laughs> I think about it. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to run around with, like, celerity out in full view of all the cops in, in New York. Or summon wolves right in front of the Marates. And everyone's perfectly fine with it. But in any case, uh, he and Ekaterina, who is also a member of the Sabbat, apparently, are still against Vudalak. As that would make sense, given what we read from the Sabbat. Telling Vudalak to stop whatever nonsense he was doing. And then basically putting out a reward for any other Sabbat killing him as he was ruining their ability to function by drawing too much attention to them. So we've sided with him and Lily and Samuel do not seem to mind that Wilhelm is a part of our group. I suppose this makes sense as I was talking about in the last episode given that Lily and Samuel kind of owe Kristoff a life debt and so we'll just be helping him out as he adventures anyway. And, and given Kristoff's kind heart, or kind hearted nature, and seems to be good decision making when it comes to dealing with problems, despite the fact he's being fooled a few times, I can't say I blame them for continuing to adventure with them, despite the fact we picked up a Sabbat. And perhaps it's my own prejudice against the Sabbat, given that they were the hostiles in Bloodlines, that instinctively makes me a bit skeptical of Wilhelm and his motives. But we'll find out together as we go forward, I suppose. Not like we have much of a choice in this game. Anyway, that's it for the summary. Let me put a quick break here. So then we can do our discipline and stats summary. Alright, so uh, I don't remember what we did at the end of the last episode. Oh, I do remember what we did. Okay, so uh, as before, over there on the left is our statistics. If you guys care, you can look over there and see what my build is. And over here, we'll just click on all the disciplines really quick again, so you guys can see what disciplines I took and what levels they are. If I recall correctly, at the end of the last episode, we took Majesty up to rank 5. Probably a waste of 12,000 experience points. But honestly, guys, I have nothing else I feel like we need on on Kristoff. And if, unless we're fighting something like just demons or something that can't be charmed in the last dungeon, 
I'll be glad maybe to have Majesty last even an additional like two seconds. So I think five points was fine. I don't want to really delve into anything new with Kristoff at this late part in the game either. We'll just be increasing the things we've already taken. It definitely doesn't seem to matter to the AI. They'll use whatever skills we've taken if it, feel, if it feels it wants to do so. Which is a bit awkward, but there you have it. Right, we grab the fifth point and ignore the Searing Flame as well. So I think this is the duration this will last for. We'll probably be improving Tongue of the Asp next. And Prison of Ice. Okay, and as for Lily... I think we improved her appearance one more point, gave her a little more intelligence as well during the last episode. And for her disciplines, what did I take? I think we maxed celerity on her, getting five points in that. At some point, it looks like we maxed awe. We grabbed five points in Firestorm and we began take. Oh right, we began taking emulate as well up to its rank five. Useful skills, all this fire stuff. I really like how Lily's planning out. I am really glad that we... We saved this Lore of Flames. I'm pretty sure... Did we save this Lore of Flames? Did we find it in this episode? I can't remember. I think we might have saved it by accident. And I'm glad that we did so. As for Samuel, I think we improved his dex a little more to allow him to hit a little more frequently with his submachine gun. I think we grabbed a little more intelligence perception with him. For his disciplines, I seem to recall taking Morta up a few more points. I think we took a, we took another rank in Summon Shade. We maxed Summon Soul. Wow! So he's even better at this than Serena was, right? I think we had four points in it with with her. We have five thousand points still left, by the way, with him, Tim. You could probably improve something. Else. Oh, actually, we don't have points to improve Cloak of Shadows or Cloak of Gathering as another point yet, so we'll hold off on that. Right, and we didn't take the uh, Plague Wind or Pestilence Breath or whatever it's called on him either because I'm a little worried that he'll just use that constantly. But it might be a good thing to take with him now that I think about it. We'll see what we decide to do. And Wilhelm. Wilhelm had almost all the experience points he started with dumped into manipulation so that we could still get infinite money since we lost Pink and Pink took all his manipulation with him. Rather thematic that at the end... Pink was manipulating us all along, and we continue to increase his manipulation. That's rather, that's rather thematic. I think I like that acc the, acc the accidental thing I did there. Willem started with four points in all the common abilities, and I think we took one point and walked the abyss, so this way we don't we no longer have to buy scrolls of that sort. He's also got three points in Awaken, too. Assuming he's alive, he can get people back up off the ground. I think we put one point in Solari for him, and one point in Potence, maybe? Or unless he started with those fours, I can't remember. He had a little bit in Command and a little bit in Mesmerize. I hope he never uses Mesmerize. He likes being stealthy now. He's put quite a few points into Obfuscate. Something, a little bit of something into all of the Protean forms he's got. And, oh, Entrancement's a skill we also don't want him using. He still has as good at 4 points in Awe and 3 points in Dread Gaze to help him out too. For our equipment... Still using the Encarn Sword. Diamond gold bracelet and a diamond ring. We really do need to get a few other magical items on Kristoff. A blood ring. And a disciplined amulet along with a SWAT helmet and tailored armor. Lily is using a tactical jacket. Mikey's been crossbow. Plenty of bolts with more in her stash. Amulet of intelligence helps her to do, helps her do a little bit more damage. I said that twice apparently. Plus 20 blood pool. A little bit of appearance stuff and a discipline ring reducing the cost of her skills by 20%. Samuel's also using a discipline amulet that makes summon soul much more efficient to cast. Plus 20 blood pool. Oh wow, we have even more blood reduction items on him. I'm gonna move this. Oh, actually no we won't. We'll hold on to this with him at the moment. So this stacks a little bit. So... I don't quite know which one, how they interact with each other. I just know that they do both contribute to the decreased blood cost when he uses uh, items. So that's that'll be useful. This is useless, this gold ring, because he, he can never improve his appearance, no matter how much bling he wears. And the serenity ring, reducing the chances that he frenzies. 
And as for Willem, we bought the fine axe because Pink took his exquisite axe with him when he left. A discipline bracelet for 69% blood cost. Serenity bracelet to reduce the frenzy rating of him. Tailored armor. SWAT helmet. And a ring of manipulation. Because why not feel even less guilty about just adding cash to our characters via a cheat? In fact, why don't we just do that right now so I can show you guys even how that works. So, we have 7,700... 7,578 cash. And in this game, if you have the console activated, you can type cash, followed by the amount of cash you actually want your characters to possess. And it gives you exactly the number that you that you typed in. Since Wilhelm has a 95 manipulation, I don't feel guilty about doing that whatsoever. It just saves me about 30 minutes of buying and selling plasma bags. <laughs> All right, let me put a break here. And we're set to go, everyone. Let's see. Oh, right, where Orsi is. I forgot about this. At the end of the last episode... Standing. Return here. We discovered that... I think Orsi was the one buying the... Or using... Doing something... <laughs> Doing, doing something with the, uh, the Earth. And we went to his penthouse here in Barclay South. We didn't find him here. Looks like he just recently cleared out of the place. But we did find a pallet that a painter would use. Apparently, it belongs to Lily's sire. Her sire paints using her own blood. That's, I think, that's just so disgusting. <laughs> but whatever, uh, I find it I find it disgusting, but perhaps uh, no one else does, or at least Lily does not. So we're looking for more information about where she might be. With the palette found, that's a hint that she, and the blood was fresh, she could still be here somewhere. Oh, and it looks like there's something hidden somewhere. Let's look around and see if there's a switch or something for us to find. I'm guessing it would be in the same room where we found the pallet from. Which is not this room. Oh my god, Kristoff! <laughs> there you go, you can do it. Oh, or, or, okay. Or not. Or, or C. Packages, we can't interact with those. Can't interact with the piano. There's nothing here either. Okay, if I don't find it in another minute... Oh my god, you scared the heck out of me, Samuel. I thought you were a demon or a ghost running, <laughs> running around out there. Please don't do that again. Uh, okay, this is, the, this is the elevator where we came up from. Oh, I'm not even, no, we are allowed to leave. I just have to interact with that. This door is very suspicious, but I'm not allowed to enter it. Hmm. Let's use the heightened senses then as well. I can remember what discipline is under. This is it. It's probably too much to ask. That would highlight the thing what I'm interested in. Working like inspection for bloodlines. Okay, I don't see it, so I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, it's only been a few seconds. It says locate the Barclay South storage room and talk to Alexandra. So that's not here, right? The storage room is outside this place. So I'm guessing it's now unlocked and we're allowed to proceed through it. That's rather lazy, Game Master, to stop your player from going to places you don't want them to go to. But we'll do it. I don't you have a choice. We are walking outside. 
go ahead and unequip the sword on Kristoff. We can pretend that no one else has their weapons equipped. And since we'll be passing by it, we're going to stop by Blessed Bee again. I know that's the place is called New Moon, but whatever. We're going to use it because she likes using that phrase. And we'll see if we can buy any more magical gear for my companions. I probably should stock up on even more bloodstones, but... Uh, actually, I think we'll probably have the equip uh, consumables we need for the next dungeon, which I'm assuming is a storage room. If it's not, and like we're going to be fighting Vudalak next, that will be amazing. Because that means we're at the end of the game, like the very, very end of the game. I don't think we are there quite yet, though. Sorry, very important that I take the top off my Coke Cherry Zero, which I shouldn't be drinking this late at night. <sighs> I love the taste. That's where we're going. It's no longer locked. Okay, well, we might as well stop by here. We are right here. Blessed be. Blessed be. All right, let's see. It's the magic stuff I want. Ring of Charisma, I don't really care about that that much. Kindred Vitae. We'll take the one of those she's selling. I guess we can buy some Werewolf Vitae. A Blood Bracelet. We'll, we'll buy that too. Blessed be! Again, we have infinite kept money, so we shouldn't feel guilty about any of this. Well, who can even sell back one of those? You know, I'm going to give this blood, blood bracelet to you. We'll just venture this crap while I'm here. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of those bracelets, and then we're off to Barclay South. Blessed be! Blessed be! I guess the thought for why the game allows you to do this sort of thing is that if you put that many points into manipulation... Why not let you get infinite money since you didn't improve your character in any other way? But I really feel like the other stat line, the other stats don't really tell you what they do so much. I know you need them to be able to use a certain disciplines, but I don't know. I still don't know if they help you affect how often they land. Like, does does charisma really help my all land on a target and awe them? Or is that where points placed in the all itself? It doesn't tell me here in the game, so I'd have to look it up in the manual itself. To be, I guess to defend the game a little bit, this game was made in like the year 2000 or 2001 or 2002. And back then, the internet was still just taking off. So, uh, Steam didn't exist. GOG didn't exist. There was no digital downloading of video games aside from a few demos, probably. And so, well, you would read the manual because the games would, you, you'd be buying the game from like Electronics Boutique or Babbage's or wherever it was your favorite store at the time. The music does not instill me with confidence that this will be a peaceful adventure here. Oh, is that her? Don't kill me. I'm almost done. I, I didn't mean to be late, but I'm so weak. We shall not kill thee. Oh. I, I just need a little more time. And please, more blood. I beg of you, a rat, a little mouse, anything. Alexandra, it's me, Lily. Lily? They've taken you too. Oh, I'd hoped you had escaped. Who hath done this injustice unto you? 
What? Who imprisoned you here? Your master, Count Orsi. Dry thy crimson tears. We do not serve Orsi. We seek his factory, and we crave his death. I don't know where his factory is. Only that they're coming to take this portrait there for his private New Year's Eve party tonight. I have to finish. If I don't, they'll kill me. No one will kill you. We'll protect you to the end. The end. The end comes soon. Oh, Lily. How sweet to see you again. And how bitter to find you only to lose you again. But we can be together forever. No. No, there is no forever. He's returning. We have to get out of New York. Out of America. There's no place far enough we can run. Peace, woman. What dost thou mean? For good luck. The Tsumitsi demon they made me paint. They resurrect him this night. Then he rises in time to die. Heads up. We've got company. All right. You better be finished, and it better be brilliant. No, it is you who are finished. And that will be brilliant. Oh man, it's just like two Ventru with baseball bats. I feel so bad for these guys. Let's loose thy wrath. of Orsi's factory. Let us go. My thanks to you, Christoph. Lily tells me you are a great kindred. We are well pleased with her as well. I'd love to paint you. You have a very noble brow. I owe you everything for saving me. Good luck on your mission. May I go with them, Alexandra? Lily, my lovely thrall. It grieves me to let you go so soon after finding you again. But Orsi must die to free you from your bondage. Go, with my blessings, and give Orsi my regards when you crush him like the toad he is. Thank you. Farewell till we meet again, Alexandra. I don't understand the whole Lily tells me good things about you. We, we're, we literally just met you. Lily didn't know you were here till a second ago, Alexandra. So unless, like, she's been sending you texts and you pretended not to read them, uh, I don't know how you would have known about him. Okay, I have Kristoff selected. All right. Well, let's get our butts over to Orsi's factory, then. Stand thy ground. Oh, is, is it actually here? No, this is just an empty room. Okay. Who puts an empty Who puts a room that's not a required room for you to walk in that has nothing in it into a video game like this? Who does that? Who did that? I salute you. <laughs> All right, well, that was easy. The poor Ventru. Is the factory located here somewhere? That must be it. Orsi International. Okay. Well, since we're passing by it, let's stop by the new moon one more time. And see if there's anything new that she's selling. I don't think the game we uh, spawns new stuff when you enter and leave a shop. Blessed be. I think it's only when you save and reload the game. Yeah, this is the same stuff we saw before. I guess since we're here, though... Blessed be. We're not going to be picking up any gear 
from the new place unless we find something that's better than what we currently have equipped. We don't really need the money. Once again, we have Wilhelm with us. Unless Wilhelm leaves, I'm not gonna I shouldn't need any more cash for by selling garbage that we pick up. So we're just gonna stay on the ground from now on. In other words, what I'm trying to get hint at there is that all this stuff I just picked up on Wilhelm. I'm not worried about making room for anything else because I don't plan to pick up anything else. Not even incinerators. So we're past incinerators as well. You know, for it being New Year's, people are sure are dressed appropriately for the weather out here in New York. It should be something like zero degrees. Or like, well, zero degrees? Oh god, I'm an American guy, so I, I I use freedom units over here. We use Fahrenheit, not not uh centigrade for our temperature. Those guys look like they mean business, by the way. It's normally about like twenty-four degrees Fahrenheit in New York. The Ventru have incinerators on them, I think. We can talk with them. Maybe they'll just hey, let us. Where's those guys with the painting? Yeah, where are they? Maybe they got stuck in traffic. They better hurry up. It's almost V Day. Yeah, V Day. Boys, I hope we, we're not gonna. Oh, they have shotguns only. Feel bad for you guys. If you ain't got an invitation, get lost. Yeah. No invitation, no party. If you ain't got an invitation, get lost. Yeah. No invitation, no party. Okay, I thought that was the same guy <laughs> who just switched his voice. Oh, do we need an invitation to actually enter? Was there an invitation on the ground that I completely walked past and missed before? Can't we just kill them? <laughs> I guess the door is such a powerful door. Or she paid for the best door, so we, we're not allowed to just walk into it. Oh, this is annoying. All right, let's, well, we'll run back. We'll do it on screen. So you guys can appreciate what not forgetting invitation would look like. You just couldn't automatically give it to me, game, by the way. Like the, like, you know, the Amethyst St. Jude, something that important was just forgotten. Actually, I don't see a, a invitation even here. The Onyx Band isn't the invitation. I don't see one here. Oh, you know what? We need to find an invitation. Maybe there's one back at the penthouse. Maybe there's one at the penthouse. That's that's my guess. So this number's on the ground there. This is just padding extra time into what into defeating you, Flutalac. Okay. I'm assuming it's here. If it isn't here, I'm gonna have to cut the recording again and figure out where on earth it could be. Oh, maybe we can get one from Dev Null if we don't find one here. And if it is here, it ain't standing out. So, uh, all right. Samuel, stop that. Stop that immediately. Did I just run past it and didn't notice it there? I hope not. Oh, you know what, though? It is rather thematic that we need a invitation, since we needed one the last time we needed to see Orsi. The more things change, the more things stay the same. Alright, if Dev Null doesn't have it, though, guys, I will put a break here. Says we'll have to figure out where on earth it is. Hello, Dev. Hello. 
Okay, nope. All right, he doesn't have it. All right, so I'll be back, everyone. Give me a second. All right, guys. Uh, I have consulted the uh, spirits of the internet who told me that we need the painting from here in order to gain access to Orsi International. Please hurry. Orsi wants to resurrect Vukadlak tonight. The demon that Orsi made me paint. Well, we need the, the painting. There you go. Please. Okay. All right. I guess we were given a hint by the guards outside. Where are those guys with the painting? But I assumed that they were making a reference to the fact that they weren't going to be returning because we killed them. And I didn't recognize the hint that you should go and get the painting. Because I'm, I'm a dummy. All right, well, let's go ahead and give this to the, the Ventru. Who, by the way, don't really... They don't strike me as being Ventru. They sound a little... I, well, this is probably a little bit uh, prejudice against me. Or uh, clanist. But they don't sound like they'd be Ventru to me. They sound a little low brow. And the, the task they have to stand out here with the shotguns, that also doesn't seem very Ventru to me. That seems more mercenary. About time you mooks got here with that painting. Yeah, it's almost V-Day. Why couldn't we kill them and take their key? All right, Orsi International 4. I'm assuming that means that this is a four level dungeon. All right, well, let's, let's get at least one floor done. That's the exit door. Start by using part of stone. Are we fighting Ventru in here? What's so? What will they? What will Ventru have? Potence, dominate. I can't think of anything else that would make Ventru dangerous. They're going to be using guns probably, so they'll be a pushover. down there. This will give us a chance to see how good Wilhelm is in, in combat after a few centuries of not adventuring with him. Ah. I wonder who that is. I wonder if Orsi's changed at all since the last time we saw him, or if he still uses the same, like, pompous voice that he used to. To factory level one. Oh! So we started at four, but this goes to one, and there's no, there's nowhere else for us to go but downstairs. Get him! Let's loose my wrath. Yep, that's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting to slaughter these guys. Although, if we're if we're picking up anti venom, can I not, can you not carry anything? Oh, we're still in uh, combat retreat. I am a little worried that we'll be fighting things that aren't human in here. But what are the odds of what are the odds Vudalak is actually working directly with Orsi? That probably not very good. I don't know about this soundtrack. This is this isn't my my type of uh, gig, as it were. It's a a bit too... That one sound effect is a bit too silly to me. Alright, boys and girl. Let's loose thy Surely you won't get caught on the door. Let's do it. I have majesty. Oh, you have... Uh, you have entrancement or something, though, Lily. Oh, 
wow. Get him. Look at Kristoff wind up for that hit. Good job. Stand thy ground. Uh, even though we don't need whatever is in these, we're still going to search all the cabinet, all the boxes. I am a little nervous whenever I pick up some blood because I I remember having to kill Kristoff to stop him from being diseased, which is never a pleasant thing. Ugh. Guess what? We're coming for you. Wow, you know, I do I even need companions in this place? Kristoff can just slaughter all these guys by, by his lonesome. They still have... This is what makes Orsi so evil. They have chests without anything in them here. Oh, medium ballistic vest? Wait, stop. Tim, you don't... Oh, well... No. Hmm... Okay. We'll pick up that on the off chance we lose... Oh, maybe Lily's dying to Orsi here. Oh, that would suck. But after, after losing Pink... I'm not going to put anything past the story writers here. Oh, God! There's war ghouls here. And they have entrancement. Okay, let's get a wraith for this fight. Someone used cloak everybody. <laughs> or something similar to it. Because Lily is a bit cloaked. I bet you it was Wilhelm. Because it, it, it's a dis... It's a... Okay, we're fighting the Zemitsky apparently. Wow, that could have been really ugly. But Kristoff just ran off. <laughs> As my companions were wont to do to get himself killed. A rocket launcher. I guess we will take this too. Bags, I guess slowly. Oh, we don't need it. I feel really bad for Orsi. Like, I, it, I feel like we're we're practically indestructible at this point. Although to be fair, Kristoff almost did get himself killed. So, I guess, uh, I guess her mileage may vary. Even after all these years, Slakta still hurt when they hit you. That looked like a flamethrower that one guy was using. Oh, wait, what? We got through a level already? Did we, did we lube it? We must have. Uh, all right, well, who cares, guys? Let's just keep going. We'll do another floor. That that took only like 10 minutes or so, it feels like to me. Oh, what? You You're using guns. Someone someone told you they were good. They're they're awful weaponry. A 
fire resistant suit. Uh, I don't really need that. They're not using. They're not using stake weaponry. Guys, stand thy ground with me. Oh, what the heck? Why would you do this to yourselves? Why? Why would you do this to yourselves? Why would you make yourselves wolves? It's awful. You can't use. You can't use any other disciplines when you're a wolf. You can't blood heal. You can't charm or mesmerize to try to save your life. The only thing you can do is just die. Let's loose thy wrath. We might as well have our companions help, right? They, they are here to help after all. Job, Lily. Yeah, just smack him right in the chest with crossbow bolts. Well done. Stand thy ground. What's hap What's happening? Someone's making an attack sound. Oh, I think Willem was just attacking the air around himself. It's just junk. It's just all junk. Let's loose thy wrath to the abyss. That was a good use of uh, the fire spell there, Lily. You don't, don't want to tank the war ghoul. This seems to sound like they're... Oh, it's, is it mesmerized? Oh, wow. Majesty works on war ghouls. Stand thy ground. We don't need dominate. I don't care. Oh, there are flamethrowers in the game. Neither plasma bag is diseased. Uh, we might actually... Uh, actually, I'm kind of glad we are picking up some of these this weaponry. I didn't notice the flamethrowers earlier. Maybe we'll give that to... Uh, Samuel to use. I also do like that the Shlata and Wargulls still drop like three silver coins. A nice a nice remembrance of what they used to drop way back when in the mines in Prague. That's potence, that's potence. That's potence! Help! Help! I'm, I'm dying! Help! Right, good, good work. Thank you for saving my life. I do, I do mean that. I see the war ghoul over there. Lily, why? Oh right, she can fail to use fireball. Get out of here. We're getting free. Hey, that could have that could have been a lot worse. Is that a is that a pack of playing cards that one guy dropped? No, shotgun shells. Ah, uh, I guess we just keep going across. Oh, we've been here before. Oh, this is where we came from. All right, hold on. This way, boys. Mm. Ah, Schlock is still blow up in lots of gibbs when you kill them. Will get out of the way. Oh God, Tim. 
Tim, 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 Poisoned, but we'll survive. Hold on. Uh, Senwul, why don't we get a Wraith out with you? I don't know what hit Lily, but it hit really hard. Are you... I think you're out of... Bullets, Samuel. Did you use all of them already? Oh my god. I take back what I said about the wolves. They're actually not so bad. We're getting creep. That was a fun little fight. We actually had to use a bunch of healing items and stuff like that. I had to, had to pay a little bit of attention to what was going on. I like it. We can use some of our blood items. Ah, good old time. Just like old times. Oh my god, the ever rare, very precious disease vaccine. I'll even be kind enough to let you hold on to it there, Wilhelm. Not diseased. Oh. Oh, wow. It's level three already. Okay, hold on. So, are you out of bullets? You're out of bullets. How did you blow through all the bullets? Well, you did. That's all there is to it. I guess you, you still look pretty cool wielding a, a falchion and a shield. I'm not doubling back for more ammo during this run. We, it doesn't feel like this is going to be long enough of, of a dungeon to require that. Not identified. Oh my god, it's... This is probably diseased, isn't it? Wow, see? That's why you check. That's why you check each individual blood pack that you pick up to make sure. Oh, Lily's been using bloodstones like they're going out of style. I think. Okay. That's why you check your your blood bags before you go ahead and do the blood transfer or uh, blood transfusion. To make sure that they're not diseased first. So that's why you have to fill out all those forms before you give blood. You know, if you... Uh, do you have any disease that get transmitted this way? You make it legible so people can read it. As opposed to what these people do, which is don't make it legible. So we have to actually identify... Oh, maybe what, it, maybe what the Identify spell is doing for us is it's all in medical terms. And none of us here can understand it. And so we have to actually use a... Uh, spirit touch to understand what could potentially be in the blood that we that we picked up. I bet you that's what's happening. We haven't seen the game yet. I kind of really like what that guy's doing. Look at him go. All right, he's he's on his way. Come on, guys, let's, let's do this. Loose thy wrath. The abyss. 
good work, guys. Stand thy ground. I see some chests down here. I guess I should arguably pick up the chainsaw. Oh, no, no, no I'm sorry. Lily has this because of Thou shit. Okay, I didn't think she had a melee weapon. Yeah, five cash. You know, these guys look a lot like the Sabbat in Bloodlines to me. Willem, please get out of the way. Willem! This isn't weird at all. <laughs> That's just... It's not weird at all that Willem's just standing there because I have him in defensive mode. So he knows better than to touch the enemy. Another disease vaccine! Holy crap! Those are impossible to get anywhere these days. Uh, where are we going, though? Oh, this way. Let's go, boys. That's a war ghoul. We can ignore it for now. I see treasure chests. Don't care. Don't care. Oh, guys! Let's guys, there's a ghoul right behind you. Stand thy ground. Hey, boys, let's go. Going. Good, yes, yes. Kill. Peace awakens. Oh god. That was sudden. Christoph will come to eventually. There we go. You know, if there was one thing I wish they did carry over here, and I'm surprised we didn't find any in the Society of Leopold, it would be the uh, neck protectors. There are so many empty crates everywhere here. Sapphires are useless. Why are you picking them up? You're not going to sell those. Enough. Enough. Pick up that two bucks. Is this isn't worth even putting them out? out. Oh no! Don't. Uh, it's fine. He, he can he can go where he wants. Good luck, guy. Good luck. Take the antidote. Since we can't buy those anywhere. Alright, team. Keep pushing. It feels like we're about done with this. Alright, there's three of them. We can go ahead and... What, what are you doing? Where are you going? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where, oh, you're feared. They have dread gaze? I guess so. You know, this is perhaps one of, if not the first dungeon that I'm doing where I no longer care about awing anybody and feeding on them. We don't need to do it. We've got plenty of blood items, uh, blood recovery items. Let's lose thy wrath. 
coming for you, Mr. Shotgun. I can't hit you, but I'm coming for you. I like what Williams doing right there to the beat. Stand by ground. I approve of you acting really weird. What we got? A medium ballistic vest. There's oh, we already have one of those. I see you hidden crates. Plaza bag. Always check them. Not identified. This is garbage. Is it cash? Cash dropped. Man, they keep a lot of money in carb in like wooden boxes down here. Oh, what? Let's lose by wrath. Oh, oh, nice. Willie and what we call both feeding. We'll take the hat as well. I'm taking this gear because on the off chance that we lose a companion, I want gear to give to a new companion. But I, I don't think we're probably, now that I think about it, we're not likely to get anyone new this late in the game if we lose someone else here. Did we beat one of these dungeons in like 30 minutes? I think we did. Let's go boys and girl. That must be Orsi. Let's say hello to Orsi. It's been a long time since we've seen him. Wonder how the old dog's holding up after all these years. Tonight, we build a great silver statue in his honor. And into it we shall place the power of the most ancient blood. By this ritual shall we rule. So, it is you. We haven't forgotten your deeds in Vienna, Orsi. Bless my soul. The Bruja. Could it be? <laughs> Ekaterina's brood? How extraordinary! Wilhelm, and what was your name again, lad? Mark my name well, Marcy. For the devil will wish to know who delivered thee unto his cheerless realm. Tell the devil thou wert dispatched from Earth by Christoph Rum. Christoph Romuel, whose soul he shall never possess as long as there is hope beyond all hope in this world. Well, I remember you now, Crusader. You eliminated some competition for me in the old days. That tedious La Sombra judgment. <laughs> I remember as if it was yesterday. You escaped my dungeon, you naughty boys. <laughs> we apologize for not killing you then. We'll make up for it today. With a gallon of blood for every drop you've spilled from Alexandra. Ooh, your hate is so delicious. My children. I'll make up for it in a far more valuable treasure than my humble blood. This is a new era, full of opportunities we could only begin to imagine in the Dark Ages. Then, I thought power came from the church. That's why I had you King Luther Black. Then times changed, and power grew from the Temporal government 
but do you know where power really comes from? Huh? You bore me, businessman. Everyone knows that corporations rule today. Wrong! <laughs> All mortal power is fleeting. A new age is about to begin. An age where we kindred are restored to rulership of the world. An age undreamed. And it begins now, tonight, at the eve of a new millennium. <laughs> the new millennium doesn't begin for another year. 2001? Oh, hush. We know what we're doing. Just think, Crystal. An eternity of perfect power, with no antediluvians to keep us in check. Hmm? So, thou art in league with the Fiend. Where is Vukodlak? Oh, you are so judgmental. Vukodlak acts on our behalf. If he does not, your antediluvian grandsire will rise up and drag you into the grave. But Vukodlak can pull them up first and feed upon them. And who will stop him then? Stop him? He'll share power with you. He'll restore our rightful heritage as the true gods of the earth. I can get you a place at the table with him. Your old friend has joined him willingly, and you can too. What was her name? The little nun? Aneska. That was it. No. <laughs> well, it looks like no matter what we wanted to do, it's going to be a battle. He used Shape of the Beast. I'm guessing that's like a war form. Let's loose thy wrath. I don't actually know what Ventru disciplines, like what they possess, but also this game, it, this game's taking a lot of, uh, what's what I'm looking for? I guess it's an L and I can't think of it. It's, it's making a lot of exceptions to the rules, that's the wrong phrase to use, when it comes to disciplines and who gets to use what and when. Okay, let's go ahead and use that. Lily, I'm going to run you back over here. And you'll use celerity on yourself. Samuel, let's summon a ghost. Wilhelm, do you know? You probably don't know. You do not know what you call. Oh, you don't need to. Uh, I'm sorry. He's 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 a wolf, is what he is. Let's move. Let's run you away, Lily, and then. Oh, you know. Uh, yeah. Let's run you away and use firestorm on him. Christoph, let's heal you. Samuel, move you over here. Lily, you're doing a whole lot of things I don't want you to do. I don't know why you're repositioning all the time. You shouldn't need to do that. God, what a gruesome end. That was great though. No no talk. No no worry about losing humanity. <laughs> just right up there and just punked him into a uh a a, a, a pit of lava? <laughs> Why is there a foundry in Orsi International? Anyway, we did it! Holy crap! That was really quick, too. And we have 30,000 points to spend on abilities I don't need anything spent on. 
Let's let's raise everything else up to max level. I'm assuming it, there's there's got to be one dungeon left, and then we're done. Let's see, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. I guess we'll take Prison of Ice. Like I said, it was going to take. We'll take Ass. And I guess with my leftover points, let's take. Oh no, we'll take up. I don't want another new ability, even though I guess this could be useful. Nah, I'm, I'm done with I'm done with abilities. Let's just improve our statistics for the end here. Okay, done with Kristoff. For you, Lily. Someone gained a new... Oh, an Elder now for Lily. I guess we'll take Feed and Blood Healing up ranks. We'll grab more decks for your bow. Take some Lightning Senses. I don't think you really need a whole lot of anything else, though, Lily. You're done. Grab Wars Heightened Senses with her. And why not? Grab another point in Spirit's Touch. Samuel has gained celerity. That is that would actually be useful for him. But I also I think I might want Plague Wind on him after all now. So we need 60 intelligence, so let's go ahead and grab that with him. A little more dex help him hit with his ranged weaponry. And then we'll grab Plague Wind all the way up. And then I guess we'll grab Celerity. All the way up. And as for Wilhelm, Potence rank 5, Celerity rank 5, Feed, Blood Healing, Feral Claws, at least we need it, Aw, Dread Gaze, and then I guess a little more strength. All right, everyone, that'll do it for this episode. I completely forgot, I, 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 it was there, I didn't know, my mind registered it was here. But I didn't actually see this until the very end there. I didn't re realize what this really was or appreciate we would get to throw Orsi into it till the very end. Unfortunately, with Orsi defeated in such a manner, we still don't know where Voodalak is. I mean, we know where he is, right? He's in the Cathedral of Flesh or Church of Flesh or whatever it was called. So I'm guessing when we walk out, someone will tell us where we actually have to go at this point. So... We'll find out what that is next episode. Thank you guys for watching this. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.